Cook along with us on the Clover Olive Pride Chefs Tour, a proudly South African cooking journey through the towns and dishes that made foodie heroes, such as the champion of traditional African cuisine, Luyanda Mafanya, master of fine dining, Chef Ruben Riffle, and proud flag bearer of National Bride Day, Jan Bry. Made with Olive Pride, prepare to be proud. This week on the Olive Bride Chefs Tour, Ruben Riffle's lamb biryani is the hero of the show, co-starring a most spicy roast vegetable dish. Whenever I'm in Durban, I love trying out some of the local specialities. Now, I love spicy food, so I love trying out all these different types of curries, but it also inspires me to cook something of my own. After visiting the spice market and collecting these lovely spices, I was inspired to make my version of an Indian classic. I'm making lamb biryani with spice roasted vegetables and preserved lemon. So biryani is basically meat and rice. Sometimes you can add lentils. I think that, that's a normal one that I grew up with in Cape Town especially. So today I'm using minced lamb instead of cubed lamb that I think everyone would be used to. It just cooks so much quicker. And the spices I'm using, I'm using a lovely curry. I love the addition of dried curry leaves in here especially. It just makes it so much more fragrant. And I'm using a combination of curry powder and a garam masala. So this garam masala has got some star anise, some coriander seeds, fennel seeds, all those warm spices and cardamom of course. And then this, saffron, not normally added into many biryanis, but this is going to make it extra special. I'm using coconut milk, a little bit of chicken stock and butter to enrich it even more. And then, what is a curry without ginger or garlic? I'm going to grate it just so it melts nicer into the curry. And the difference really is between maybe a curry that I grew up with is this one I'm going to cook all together and almost bake in the oven. And that's prep work done, let's get cooking. First up, I'm gonna heat up my oil. I'm using Olive Pride Blend. It's got a high smoking point, which makes it great for frying. But for me, the great thing is, is that it still retains that nice olive oil flavor. Okay, lamb goes in. I'm gonna fry that all for about three minutes just to give it some color before all the spices goes in. In goes the garlic and ginger. Ah, I can already smell those beautiful flavors. Now for the spices. So this is not a very hot curry. I would describe it as a more of a fragrant type of curry, but still delicious. Okay, now for the saffron. Now, this is optional in the recipe, but really this brings this dish way up to another level. I can smell all those flavors, spices really coming together, so it's time for the rice. Now I'm using long grain basmati rice and I've pre-soaked it for about 30 minutes and that just helps to speed up the cooking. Now for the liquids. Chicken stock. Coconut milk. and some unsalted butter. Now the butter just adds another level of richness to this dish. Salt and pepper to taste. Ah, this already smells so delicious. All I've got to do now is cover it with foil and then it goes into the oven for 30 minutes.
In my family, we love eating vegetables and I'm always looking at different ways of bringing it into the dishes that I cook at home. So for this biryani, I'm going to add some nice veg, some of my favorites, cauliflower, goes beautifully with curry, so it's going to really marry beautifully with that biryani. Some onion and I'm using red onion, nice and sweet, and I'm adding some mushrooms to it as well, just because I love it. So I'm going to chop it up, the cauliflower into florets, so basically just slightly smaller. This is going to go into the oven as well for about 20 minutes, so I want it you know, to roast really nicely and to absorb all those spices that I'm going to add in there as well. Red onion, I'm just going to slice it up nice and chunky. Okay, now for the mushrooms. You can leave them whole, but I'm going to cut them up so that they can cook evenly with the rest of the veggies. So the spices I'm going to be using for my veggies is fennel and cumin. I've sort of pre-toasted it a little bit uh, and then I've added one pod of cardamom and I've ground it fine like that. And to that I'm going to add just one tablespoon of turmeric. And one tablespoon of cinnamon. Mix it all together and on it goes. And for some sweetness, I'm adding some sultanas. I'm from the Cape and I really want to bring a little bit of burka up into this dish. Now for my secret ingredient. So I'm using preserved lemon. It's slightly fermented and it adds quite a special dimension to this dish. I'm going to finish off with Olive Pride Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's a high quality oil and naturally low in cholesterol. Ooh, I can see it's getting dark. It's almost dinner time. So this is gonna go into the oven for about 20 minutes and if everything goes well, it should be ready by the time the biryani is done. Right, so my lamb biryani is done, my veggies is done. Let's quickly have a look at how it came out. Oh. Now that just looks amazing and it smells awesome. Now for the start of the show. Ah, oh, man. Just the aromas, the smells that I'm getting out of this dish. You know, I just wanna, I just wanna tuck in. Now, how I know it's cooked is you want your rice kernels to be nice and fluffy and they shouldn't be sticky at all. Now for a little garnish of coriander. And there you have it, my lamb biryani with spice roasted vegetables and preserved lemon. Thanks for joining me on the Olive Pride Chef's Tour and I hope you enjoy preparing this dish at home with Olive Pride and prepare to be proud. Now if you'll excuse me, it's time for dinner. Delicious. Next week on the Olive Pride Chef's Tour, we take in Franchuk, food, wine and art dynamo of the Western Cape, the town that's both the home to Chef Ruben's award-winning restaurants, but also where his love of fresh fruit and veg took root in the family garden and saw his career grow from there.